Hello, Chris Groff here from Kruger School of Applied Technologies. In this lesson, we're going to I'm going to show you how to move the image sprite using the orientation sensor on your phone. So as you tilt and move your phone, the image sprite will move. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to My Projects, and let's click New, and let's name this one Orientation Sensor. And really, this tutorial works best if you have a phone that you can connect to and you can physically move it, because with the emulator, you just can't get that effect. First thing we want to do is set up the screen orientation of the phone. So let's put that on portrait. And the reason I am changing that to portrait is because when we move the phone, I notice that it goes back and forth between portrait and landscape, and it kind of messes up the game. So go ahead and set it for portrait. After you've done that, we want to set up our components for our game. All right, so we're going to move a canvas and drag it in there. And let's rename this Game Canvas. And our canvas will serve as our area where the sprite will move. So let's set its width and height to 300 pixels. and that'll give us a nice area for our sprite to move. Next thing we need to do is get our sprite. So go to animation and click and drag your image sprite there. And let's rename the image sprite bug. And at this point what we need to do is insert insert a picture for our bug. Okay. So under picture here, you want to click on that and add and choose file. And what I've done is I've created a 20 pixel by 20 pixel little bug in Illustrator, just like this. And I just went to file, save for Microsoft Office, and saved it as a PNG file. So if you don't have a little image, um, you could create one or you can do a Google search for either a PNG or a JPEG. Okay. Once you have that in, we're going to talk about some of these properties on the sprite. The first one is heading. And heading is the direction that the sprite should move in degrees. So at zero, it's moving to the right. At 90 degrees, it's moving up. And at 180, it's moving to the left. Um, and we'll set up the blocks editor to control the heading. So you just need to leave it at zero. Your interval, we're going to set to 10. And our interval specifies how often the image sprite should move. So we're setting it at 10 milliseconds. So that means 100 times per second. And then speed, speed is how many pixels that the sprite should move. And we're going to leave it at zero and when we set up our blocks we'll also set up the speed. Next thing you want to do is go to sensors and we're going to grab the orientation sensor and drag it onto your screen and that'll be a non-visible component and that's all you need to do for that. And the last thing we need to add in is under basic and we're going to add a clock. And you want to set the timer interval to 100 milliseconds. And that means that the timer interval will go off every 10 milliseconds. So the clock will go off every 10 milliseconds, which will be 100 times per second. All right, so after you have that done, go ahead and open up your blocks editor. I've already done that, so I don't have to wait on it. First thing you want to do is go to built-in and definition. And we're going to create a procedure. And we're going to name the procedure move bug. And when you create a procedure, you want to go to My Blocks and My Definitions. It creates a call procedure. So go ahead and drag it out and place it on the right, and we'll talk about this later. All right, so let's set up our Move Bug procedure. What you want to do is go to My Blocks and go to Bug, and you want to find where it says Bug.Heading2. So we are going to set the bug heading to, and remember, heading is the direction the sprite should move. So we are going to use the orientation sensor to tell us where the direction of the bug should move. 
So you want to go to the one that says orientation sensor dot angle. And the angle tells which direction the phone is tilted in degrees. So as you tilt your phone, it will tell the bug which direction to go. Next thing we need to do is set the speed of the bug up. So go to my blocks and bug and find the one that says bug dot speed to. And we are going to set the speed using the orientation sensor's magnitude. So you want to go into orientation sensor, find the one that says orientation sensor one dot magnitude. Magnitude's the number indicating the amount of tilt. So that can range from zero to one depending on how much tilt you are putting on your phone. And we're going to use a multiplier for this. So go to built-in and math and you want to find the multiplication symbol and connect it. Take your orientation sensor one dot magnitude and then for this block let's go to built-in and math and get a number. And let's set the number to 100. So what we're saying is that we're taking the magnitude which can be between 0 and 1 and multiplying it by 100 to set the bug speed. Alright, so we have the procedure set up. That's finished. Now we just need to go to my blocks and get our clock and grab this first one here. So when the clock timer goes off, we want it to call our procedure here. And remember, our clock timer interval we set up for 10 milliseconds. So that'll be 100 times per second. It'll call that procedure. Alright, so once you have all that done, you're ready to check out your moving bug. So you want to take out your phone, connect it if you haven't, go to connect a device, select your phone, and then once this little phone turns green here, you can go ahead and check that out. All right. So in closing, multiplying the magnitude by 100 tells us that the bug uh, should move between 0 and 100 pixels in a specified direction whenever the timer goes off, okay, which we set to 100 times per second. So go ahead and take out your phone, and I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson on the orientation sensor. Thank you.